Now, Masiba Bawa went viral after an interview with John Uses Maxwell Ababa at the Occupy Jolobi House protest some three weeks ago. She spoke passionately about Ghana's ineffective healthcare system. We're learning that 48 hours after the protest, she was sacked by her private employers. Masiba says that although she doesn't want to draw a direct link between the protest and her termination, she believes there's always a price to pay for speaking out. Maxwell Ababa has more in this report. It is the 23rd of September, the last day of a three-day protest against what organizers of the Occupied Jolobi House demonstration say is corruption, mismanagement of the economy and unemployment. One of the protesters, Nasiba Bauer, is charging at the police. She later explained she was angry because a 24-year-old man died as a result of Ghana's ineffective healthcare system. Them. The teacher, his father, is a teacher, gave over 30 years of his life to the service, could not afford just plants, could not afford dialysis, 400 cities a week. What do you mean? Do you know how much taxes they check out every day? The cost of living. It is lunch time and I'm here at a restaurant in West Ligon to meet Nasiba. Her contract was terminated by a private employer 48 hours after the protest. She says she doesn't want to draw a direct link between the protest and her termination, but believes there's always a price to pay for speaking out. I, I, I work there yeah. and I do know it to be partisan. And that's why I, I'm trying not to, I keep saying that I, I don't want that connection. Because, yeah. you know, um, if I if I knew that the company was partisan, mm. then maybe I can say that because it's partisan, it's yeah. fair enough to come towards to or to pull this talk. But I don't know it's partisan. Yeah. And I wasn't told that was the reason. Yeah. And and that thing is I wasn't rebuked for going to the protest even though my video went viral. Okay. I was not rebuked for it. Okay. So you get that, so it's like a plain white sheet. So it's okay. really hard to say that it's because of this, it's because of that, or because okay. I was rebuked. When I got to work on Monday, I was rebuked, or they sort of questioned me, or the comments were passed that made me be like, hmm, you're not okay. No, none yeah. of that. Okay. If it's because of it, fair enough, there's always a price to pay for everything. That went to a protest and I was surprised to pay for everything. And that's what your uncle told you. And that's okay. okay. Wait, your uncle said what? My, you know, my uncle says that there is a price to pay for everything. Oh. Yes, they, they said, like I said, they said yeah. they had. Um, you were sick, you took days off um, with permission. Okay, so let me read that part of the tweet. They, you, you said, they said when I was sick and took days off with permission, they hired someone to replace me. That was three weeks ago. Why abruptly ending it now? The math is not mathing. Yeah. So you took sick leave three weeks ago. No, you returned actually. You, you took some days of sick leave and then returned. And I've been working for the past three weeks before the protest. And then 48 hours after the protest, you come back to work. Then you're told that, um, you remember the sick leave you took three weeks ago whilst you were away? We got another person, and the person is going to start work in October. I think that for me, I didn't pay much. I mean, when I even try to think about it, I also try to think about the company because yeah. I've also heard where people have been let go for like health purposes because the company feels like we can't really rely on. The only reason why I was thinking was, oh, when I came, why, why was I not told that this was what was happening, and um, so that I could. Know, like sort of just ready myself yeah. you know, if that was what it was you know but also people don't owe me I just want to say that like I, I, I'm trying to I understand or I'm attempting to understand all the parties involved and just understand that or maybe that's not it it's something else she says she's not worried and will continue to fight for a better healthcare system Last week, Nasiba was part of the panelists for the Joy News event on the dialysis crisis. As she said, the country continues to fail its citizens. And the only thing that stands between you and death is dialysis, and you cannot even access it. And we had the Kolebu CEO, why they cannot even open it to OPD cases. 
you know and and that's what stands in between you and death so you are just dying not because um your body is failing you but because your country is failing you and that shouldn't even be labor expert senior ejabin says nasiba's employers aired in terminating a contract there are problems for termination employment under our labor laws and that's for if the termination of employment is not enough for them with those grounds, then of course there are legal remedies for which an employee can can go to any adjudication any adjudication process to get um, some justice. You will have to to present a defense, I mean an argument, properly so that proving that one you had in a, a contract of employment that was active and that it was terminated either in breach of the contract of employment, the labor law, or your rights under the 1992 constitution. So it, it is very, we would need to go into the circumstances a lot more to know exactly what uh, she can do. But yes, if she was terminated on the basis that she took time off with permission and came back and she was replaced, then of course that does not constitute a ground under the labor laws and hence a big legal action.